probably a con trail there. Paper trail. October 15, 2012. As I said before, beware of the YouTube uh, false prophets. They're at it again. Now they're accusing the the false prophets are accusing the false prophets. It looks like. Um, one of them is trying to say now that uh, uh, because Jesus said to uh, uh, Pontius Pilate, uh, this is not my kingdom, well then we're supposed to submit to their government or something. Well, evidently that person doesn't understand covenants. That which is spiritual is greater than that which is flesh. There are bad, there's bad sins of the flesh, and there's not so bad sins of the flesh. All sin is imperfection, yeah. But there are bad and not so bad sins of the flesh. But then there are spiritual sins, which is a, which is spiritual fornication. This doesn't necessarily mean sexual fornication. It means, it can mean that you don't really actually believe in the righteousness of Jesus the Christ. That's what spiritual fornication would be, is not actually believing in the righteousness of Jesus Christ and His authority. That's what would spiritual fornication would be. Okay, what this person tried to say, that uh, Jesus said, this is not my kingdom. Well, at that time, it wasn't His kingdom. But it is now. It's His kingdom. He said, the meek shall inherit the earth. The meek legally only serves right now. Legally, we own this earth right now. You see, when Jesus Christ was crucified, I gave Him the authority to revoke all of Satan's authority. You get to Romans 13, uh, the rulers are not heathen tyrants as they would have you to believe. These are ministers of God that already believe in the righteousness and authority of uh, God, Yahweh. They already believe. They're not heathen tyrants. That's calling God the author of confusion. So anybody that tries to tell you, well, God raises up corrupt governments is a liar. Is it just an absolute liar? He does try to raise up righteous governments, as it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 28. God said in the church, first apostles, secondary prophets. Of course, he'll say, well, that's just in the church. And the Bible also says those that say they deny the power of God to them to turn away from. That power also can mean authority. Those who say they believe in God but deny his authority to them to turn away from. And if they cause a vexation to the sheep, you know, they try to, like this government we got, that has got king, president, governor, same freaking thing, one person ruler, doesn't allow the people to vote on all the major issues because they know it's a vexation to the people. They want to be the children of Satan, set themselves up in high places of authority so they can condemn the children of God. That's the reason they deny 9-11, September 11, 2001 was an inside job. It's because... They know that it's a vexation to the children of God to create a system where the people don't can't have no say so. So anybody that tries to tell, cut down the authority of God, you can just go ahead and consider them a false prophet. Period. And that's for sure. And as always. Click on where it says show more because I, I do more writing.